next thing I want to do is add an effect called the Orton effect and there's an action for this here in the TK actions and the Orton effect is kind of a soft glow soft blur that gets used a lot in photography these days it was actually a technique that was first developed in slide film but there's a digital analog to that so uh, so we're going to apply that but I don't want a full you know I don't want to go with a super dreamy super blurry effect here I just want to increase uh, some of the drama because it also creates this nice glow around light areas and it creates some interesting uh, effects with shadows and contours so that's what we're going for so I'm gonna go ahead and run the Orton effect action and let's see the default radius for this action is 10 pixels but I'm gonna go for a little bit more blur with uh, 15 say OK and as you can see the full effect of that while it creates this nice glow it's very fuzzy <laughs> it's too soft and uh, it over darkens a lot of the dark areas and over brightens some of the bright areas so we'll work with that next I think uh, some luminosity mass will really help uh, target this adjustment to parts of the image where we want it and keep it out of places where we don't so to set up the luminosity mass for what I want to do with this is I'm actually going to turn off the Orton effect group so that we go back to the state of the image before we created that effect and I'm going to get out of the layer mask mode here in the rapid mass 2 module and I'm going to go ahead and luminosity lock a new loom lock channel uh, with the current tones in the image and now I can go back to layer mask mode and I can turn this layer back on and now I can start applying different masks to that group of the Orton effect and see which one is going to give me the look I want and like I said I think I, I want this to go more into the midtones I don't want it to expand out into those highlights and shadows as much so let's try a midtone one I would say that that maybe is an okay starting place it's not doing much but I think maybe I could start with that and just expand that uh, a little bit yeah so expanding that alters the mask so now that adjustment is reaching out into the shadows a bit and into the highlights a bit however I feel that it might be reaching into the highlights more than I want it's kind of blowing out some of the highlights up here and some of the areas of the water are getting a little too hot so the next step I'm going to do is I'm actually going to subtract a mask from the mask that we've made. So this is a expanded midtone ones mask, but I want to subtract the lights out to protect the lights. So I'm going to next hit the minus or subtract button and subtract. We'll try it. Let's subtract a lights two and see what that does. So that did a good job of bringing back some of the uh, kind of blown out highlights up here. How's it doing with the water? I feel like some of the water might still be a little too much. So maybe subtracting uh, a lights one would get into that area a little more yeah so now I feel like we're really protecting the water and the highlights in the sky and when you look at that mask you see the original midtones of the mask are obvious but then those lights that we subtracted out are right up here and out of the water right here so that's a great way to customize a mask like that so I love the kind of the contouring and drama and glowiness that that Orton effect gives us but I'm not a fan of the detail that I've lost in the rocks and in the mountains and even in parts of the clouds so I want to bring back some of that detail and I'm gonna do that with a clarity adjustment and I'm actually gonna do a two-pass clarity adjustment 